The following program is sponsored by Friends of Life Outreach International. What we do says who we are. If we are followers of Christ, we will act like it. There's power in those words, Randy, especially as Christ followers. We're called to step up. Yeah. We're called to, to do more. What an incredible privilege that God has given me to grow my faith, to, go, to grow my trust in Him, and to help you along the way, and then to help these people. We've been presented the stories, the stories of life and stories of death. What are we gonna do with it? Next on Life Today. Welcome to Life Today. I'm Randy Robinson. Tammy Trent is with me. Hello. And you know, we love to minister to you right here by encouraging you, bringing yes. you guests that, that will lift your spirits, teach you some things. But we also want you to be a blessing to someone mm. else. And there is a situation right now where God's people need to intervene. Mm -hmm. You know, Tammy, I love the whole theme of Scripture. Uh, you know, it, it, a lot of people think Christ came to make bad people good, mm. when really the truth is that He came to make dead people alive, alive. Yes. spiritually, yes. right? And that's what we yes. get to share. Well, there's a situation where death is reigning, but you can bring them life. And I hope you'll just take the time to watch today and, and maybe say a quick prayer and say, Lord, how can I be a blessing? Because Tammy, you know that our Water for Life outreach changes people's lives. It brings them life yes. in a place where death reigns. Yes, Randy, and we've been there. We've mm -hmm. seen it. We've gone in where it's just heavy. There's despair. There's suffering. Mm -hmm. They're without. And we've also been in those same places where we've gone back even years later, and, and we've seen right. them now flourishing because they have fresh, clean water. We know that it changes lives. We know that water changes lives and we all get to be a part of that today. Don't go anywhere. This is gonna be a special day that if you've heard it before, we wanna tell you in a different way what this beautiful need is right now that we get to be a part of. We get to be a blessing yes, to so many. We do and you know, we know it works. Yes. Because my parents started doing this Many, many years ago. In fact, yeah. it's been 25 years wow. now since Water for Life Incredible. has been a part of the outreach of, of Life Outreach International, thanks to people just like you. We need to stay committed. Why? Because there are more people who are in desperate need, more people mm -hmm. who are facing loss, which means more opportunities for you to be a blessing in their lives today. Mm. Watch this, and you'll see a little bit of where, where death is reigning. Mm. But I want you to also see the opportunity for you to be life. So I'm here in Liberia. We're here speaking to these families about the loss that they are suffering because of the lack of clean drinking water. Many families have suffered from cholera and other waterborne illnesses. And I'm in the home of a young woman named Blessing today. Blessings here with her brand new baby. So, Blessing, I know that you you lost a child. Tell me your baby's name that you lost. Don Maurice. Maurice, and do you know why he died? Now that you have this new baby, Cyrus, how do you give him water? What What are you doing now? We know you need clean water. But if you could talk to my friends back home, what would you say to them to help prevent Cyrus's ever having to drink that dirty water again? 
para bi e menu won o le to iwo ti yin do ipo yin be a bi ro yin be o ro gbe ka o yin ba fu pon penu ko gbu ma le an ka ya nunu go can we please make her generation the last generation that ever has to suffer from the lack of clean water that we will be able to bring water for life to blessings village and villages just like blessings all over the world because you have a dream you have a prayer it just simply takes us being like jesus being willing to make a sacrifice to be a blessing <sighs> unclean water it is one of the leading causes of sickness in children all around the world especially under the age of 5 I try to hold it together every time we do a special like this because I feel so overwhelmed when I sit there and probably you do too and we we hear another story yet another story of a mother who's lost a child because of unclean water they were without so they went to a a water hole that looked the cleanest because they thought that would be better you know what the truth is it doesn't matter how clean that water looks it's all contaminated it's filled with bacteria it's filled with disease it will only bring death especially to these little tiny babies these children that need clean water they need our help and you know what when we ask what do you need she says prayer somebody pray for me I don't know what else to do but please pray for me and then pray that that help would come. So what can we do today? We can step in and pray in the name of Jesus, Father, Father, please send them relief, send them help. How can we be a part of that today? Father, lay it on our hearts. What can we do? How can we stand in the gap for these families, for these precious children today? God, give us wisdom. Speak to us. Where is the need? How do we respond? And then respond if he's speaking to you today respond don't wait don't hesitate because these people don't have tomorrow they don't have any other option this is all they have today but we could help change their tomorrow right now when we come together give whatever we can this person gives a little that person gives a little this person's got a little bit more but we bring it all together and we go in there let's not bring them just one cup or two cups let's bring them an entire well let's drill them a well that could change their future forever let's help set them up for success randy absolutely tammy and, and you know you you sometimes watch that and you wonder how how can such a circumstance be mm. did you notice by the way the the flag that looked a little like an yes. american flag I did, I did. That's because that is in the nation of Liberia, one of the 20 nations Mm. in which we are drilling water wells. Mm. But these people are facing situations where they have two choices, no water or bad water. Mm. And no water leads to death. And oftentimes bad water leads to death. Mm -hmm. That's why for these many years, people like you have been partnering with us and our people in the field to drill, our goal this year, 350 wells in 20 nations. There's only one way that happens, and that's when you join us, when you become a part of Water for Life, a gift of $48 to give water to 10 people, $144 to give clean water to 30 people. Maybe you can drill an entire well for $4,800. Listen, this is the moment. This is when we shine the love and light of Christ into a dark place where people are hurting. Will you join us? Watch this. You know, when we come into a place like this, our first reaction is, as a television crew is, is to say, don't drink that, you know? But they drank it yesterday, they're gonna drink it tomorrow. They'll drink it for the rest of their lives if they have no other choice. It's contaminated, there's bacteria in there you can't even see, there's creatures that we can see, moss, oily kind of look. This water is death. There's no other way to say it. This water is death. And we know that because we've talked to so many mothers who have lost children. I want you to hear the story of Piscazi, one mother who has faced so much difficulty 
And keep in mind, it represents the stories of many mothers across the world who face a similar situation. It means much for you to share your story with me today. My heart is broken, like I know yours is, when you hear Pascasi's story. But I have to tell you that this isn't an isolated story. There are so many mothers who are hurting, who are concerned for their children. We have a solution. The question is, what will we do? If a brother or sister is without clothing and in need of daily food, and one of you says to them, go in peace, be warm and be filled, and yet you do not give them what is necessary for their body, what use is that? These are the words of James in Scripture. Even so, faith, he says, if it has no works, is dead being by itself. But someone well may say, you have faith and I have works. Show me your faith without the works. I will show you my faith by my works. Listen, what we do says who we are. If we are Christ, we will act like it. When we see somebody who is in need, someone who is dying because they don't have clean drinking water, we can't pass right by. We must not. The outreach of Water for Life is more than just giving clean drinking water to those in need. That's where it starts. It's also giving the water of life. That is sharing the life of Christ with those in need. These are not two separate things. This is, this is together. This is the faith and the works, both working in the same direction. We want you to be a part of that because we know that many of you are a part of the faith community, you're followers of Christ. Well, let's, let's not just talk about it. Let's do it. Because Tammy, we know when we go in and we meet the practical, physical need, it's a spiritual act of worship. Yes, it is. We have to, we, we must, we are compelled. This is who we are. Yes, it is. And I love that you said that what we do says who we are. Who we are. Mm -hmm. I think there's, there's power in those words, Randy, especially as Christ followers. Mm -hmm. We're called to step up. Yeah. We're called to, to do more. Yeah. And it's a responsibility. And I think, you know, as long as, I am here with this incredible family, the Robisons, this incredible ministry, Life Outreach. Uh, I want to be a part of giving life, changing lives, encouraging, inspiring you, encouraging you in your walk with Jesus. What an incredible privilege that God has given me to grow my faith, to, go, to grow my trust in Him, and to help you along the way, and then to help these people beyond my reach even here, but to go to all these different places that I'm sent in the name of Jesus and to stand before them in their struggle with them, crying with them, praying with them, hurting with them and hoping with them, hoping and believing that change will come. It has to come. We've been presented the stories, the stories of life and stories of death. It's been presented to us today. What are we gonna do with it? We have an opportunity to help these people and to help change their lives with the gifts that God has given us. What gift has God given you today? What do you have today that you can give? I know that together we have so much that we can give in this moment right now that could change everything for these people. Randy, that's the beauty of when we come together as God's community, as his people, we connect together and we change people's lives. We do. You said three words that I want to point okay. out right there in, 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 your, in your talk. You said, you said responsibility. And yes, I do believe there is responsibility to be obedient to God's word. You also said 
privilege. Mm. Why is it a privilege? Because we represent Christ to people. Mm. And then you said opportunity. Mm. And you wonder sometimes why is there so much suffering in the world? Why is there pain? And I do think opportunity is the right word. You can go online right now. You can make a gift. You can pick up the phone if you prefer that. You can make a gift of $48. That will go to give clean drinking water to 10 people for a lifetime. Maybe you can give 144, give clean drinking water to 30 people. Maybe you can give a well. Four to $800 is the average cost of the well. Some of you might be able to give more than that. This is the opportunity to reach out and say, yes, because of my faith, I'm doing the work. Let's do it. Do what you can and do it now. Every day, thousands of lives are lost to a waterborne disease, and nearly half of those are children under the age of five. Through Mission Water for Life, now in its 25th year, you can give mothers hope and children a future as we provide clean, life-giving water for thousands of children and their families before it's too late. With your gift today, you can help drill and establish 350 water wells this year. Your gift of $24 will help provide clean water for five children. A gift of $48 will help provide for 10, and $144 will help provide life-giving water for 30 people for a lifetime. With a gift of any amount, we'll send you the God's Word for My Day devotional set. These four seasonal devotionals each contain a daily reading, an encouraging verse, and a thought to ponder for each day of the year. With your gift of $100 or more, you may request the His Word is Life Tumbler Set. These two 20-ounce stainless steel tumblers, each inscribed with a scripture, will inspire you throughout the day and help keep your drinks well insulated while at home or on the go. Finally, please consider a gift of $1,200 to help provide water for 250 people or a gift of $4,800 to help sponsor a complete well and request our beautiful bronze sculpture, A Cup of Water. This is the last day. Please call, write, or make your gift online. So uh, life isn't easy in this area. Talking about water here is a serious issue, very serious because People are dying, are getting sick from drinking bad water in this area. Uh, so these people are really suffering. They need help. You can walk all around. You're not gonna find any clean water here. Now you can imagine how are they surviving. And we know that water is life. <laughs> The water is, it's filthy, it's dirty, it's contaminated, filled with disease, but it's all they have, it's all they know. So imagine yourself being so thirsty that you drink this water and it's your only option. And in the back of your mind, you have that fear that you could possibly die from this water. Your if you do something for this community, I think they will uh, they'll be great, grateful forever. So thank you so much for coming. I hope God is going to use you yes, I to, hope so to too. bless this community with Amen. a clean water. Water is life. That's what he said. Water is life. Jesus said the same thing. Life, water, clean water. Do you know there's nearly 800 million people around the world that don't have access to life, to clean water? Can you imagine living in that kind of fear every day? Well, there's plenty of things that I worry about, that I feel overwhelmed about, that I'm concerned about, but water has never been one of those things. 
as I sat there and I watched that piece, I remember being in Burundi. I remember being at the edge of that water with a little boy drinking that filthy, dirty water. And I just, I just, my head went down and I just thought, I hate this for him. I hate that he has to drink this because I know that it isn't good. I know there's no life at all in those rivers and those streams and those creeks. There's no life at all. And yet it's all that they have. So what can I do? What can I do today to help one child, then another and another in an entire village? Well, I know what we've been doing for many years, and I know what we can do to help that village and many more. We could go in, we could pull in there with our rig, and we can drill a well that will go so deep that it will bring up the fresh spring waters of life where these people will begin to live and they will begin to thrive and it'll change everything. It'll break the cycle of death in their life because of the water that they have. They've been born in these areas. There's nothing that they can do. So let's do something for them. They've done all that they can. They need our help. They need just a little help. So let's do something for them. Today, we can come together and drill them a well. So if you have $48, it will provide water right now for 10 people. If you've got 144, it will help us provide water for 30 right now. If you are blessed with $4,800 just sitting around someplace asking God what to do with it, we can take that and we can go in and we can drill them a well that will change their lives for the rest of their lives. I don't know about you, but I'm all about, I can give one gift that can change the lives of thousands of people for the next 70 years of their life, bring them life. Tell me where I sign up. I want to be a part of that. We want you to come alongside us and be a part of that with us. We have a dream. We have a vision. We are filled with hope and great expectation. And we know that together, Randy, we can make this happen today. Yeah, this is where our faith and our works meet. And, and listen, mm -hmm. some of you have, have partnered with us over the years. We thank you. Yeah, thank some you. of you may not be able to today, but soon you will. Mm -hmm. Would you do one thing? Because I believe in the power of prayer. Would you pray with me right now? Lord, reach out to all those who are hurting Jesus. because of contaminated water, the mothers in the villages that have lost a child, the fathers that have lost a child, the, those that have lost siblings. God, would you just bring all of us together uh, under your banner, under your authority, and in Jesus' name to reach out and provide that basic physical need to be obedient to your word in the book of James and demonstrate our love for you, our commitment to you and our love for others mm. by meeting their needs. Continue to pray, please. Oh, and those of you that can act, Amen. act right now. Every day, thousands of lives are lost to a waterborne disease and nearly half of those are children under the age of five. Through Mission Water for Life, now in its 25th year, you can give mothers hope and children a future as we provide clean, life-giving water for thousands of children and their families before it's too late. With your gift today, you can help drill and establish 350 water wells this year. Your gift of $24 will help provide clean water for five children. A gift of $48 will help provide for 10, and $144 will help provide life-giving water for 30 people for a lifetime. With a gift of any amount, we'll send you the God's Word for My Day devotional set. These four seasonal devotionals each contain a daily reading, an encouraging verse, and a thought to ponder for each day of the year. With your gift of $100 or more, you may request the His Word is Life Tumbler Set. These two 20-ounce stainless steel tumblers, each inscribed with a scripture, will inspire you throughout the day and help keep your drinks well insulated while at home or on the go. Finally, please consider a gift of $1,200 to help provide water for 250 people or a gift of $4,800 to help sponsor a complete well and request our beautiful bronze sculpture, A Cup of Water. This is the last day. Please call, write, or make your gift online. I am by a water source that is so typical of water sources all over the world. We know for a fact in this area, disease is killing entire families and many children. Why? From drinking contaminated water. And you know, it's one thing to say, oh, I'm sorry and weep over it. But you know, when we can be the answer to the need and the prayer, it doesn't seem sometimes just a little bit hypocritical if we could do something and we don't. 
Well, we can, but we need your help. For over two decades, the viewers of Life Today have partnered with missionaries around the world to help save children's lives by providing clean drinking water. Mission Water for Life has drilled over 8,000 clean water wells with an assortment of rigs in different shapes and sizes to meet the needs of a particular area. Each new water well is encased to prevent contamination and capped with a simple pump that even a child can operate. Life Outreach and its partners have already helped provide clean water to approximately 8 million people. But we still have a big job to do. Around the world, hundreds of millions of people still don't have access to safe drinking water. And hundreds of children die every day from a preventable disease caused by contaminated water. Jesus said, give a cup of water in my name, you won't lose your reward. I don't know what that reward will be for us, that's in God's hand. But I know what reward is in it for the people we give water to. The reward is a chance, it's hope, it's a future. The reward is life. And you know, when you go online or go to the phone, make the best gift you can, you not only give them water for life, mm. you give them the water of life. Yeah. And this is the last day we'll be on the air asking you for this right now in this campaign. But Tammy, do you know that through the outreaches of life last year through 2023, nearly 1.3 million people have given their life to Christ. That's reports by from the field Incredible. by our various missionary Incredible. partners. So look, this is this is the crossroads of faith and yes. works. Yes. And so I want everybody to join us. Come alongside us. Let's yeah. do it together. Let's make a difference. Let's impact the lives of so many people all around the world that need clean water right now. God bless you. We'll see you next time on Life Today. Life Today is made possible by the supporters of Life Outreach International. Your gift will be used exclusively for the exempt purposes of life. The ministry features specific outreaches as examples of the programs it supports and conducts. Gifts are considered to be without restriction as to use unless explicitly stipulated by the donor. The ministry is a member of the ECFA.